Hi guys, this is Crystal. Today we are going to create this Euphoria inspired makeup look. I'm like a little bit stressed out about this look because I kind of don't really know what I'm doing. I have so many different colors stuck in my head, but like no clear vision. So should be interesting how this turns out. I'm just going to start with priming my face. Then we'll just take it one step at a time. I am using the Kat Von D palette. This is from my Nikki palette from ages ago. It's just like a packing brush and I'm gonna go in this color just to build a base. Now I'm gonna go in with my JH34 with this color. And I'm just gonna go into my eye socket just to create some definition. Now I'm gonna go in with something a little bit warmer. Mix these, these two together. So far, so good. I am gonna go in for the liner now. So this one is the NYX Epic Smoke Liner. I used this in one of my other Euphoria makeup tutorial videos, the one where I recreated Maddie's birthday look, but I used the white version of that and then layered on some eyeshadow on top. But this is the blue one and it's like a pretty bright, blue so i feel like this would be a really fun liner to use to create a wing that. that's pretty good i have this eyeliner brush from mac i'm going to spray some primer on it and i'm just gonna take this like blue color from the Stracklin Hill Morphe palette and go over the blue liner with that eyeshadow to really set that and then hopefully that will brighten the color as well. Whew. Oh, okay. Now I think I'm gonna go in with this a JH32 brush. And I have this like really cute Fenty Beauty Kilowatt foil. It's a highlighter duo, but sometimes I like to use these colors for my eyes. I'm just gonna put some of the blue color in my inner corner like that. It's so pigmented, so don't pick up too much of the product. Okay. Hmm, what should I do next? Let's do my base next. I'm gonna use my trusty Dior Backstage Foundation. Just using my foundation brush to blend everything out. My NARS concealer. My Pat McGrath. And for that line right there, let's do this. This is just like a concealer brush from Bare Minerals. I'm just gonna lightly clean that up right underneath that line. Just taking a damp sponge and I'm gonna blend everything out. I'm also gonna do some down my nose and some on my forehead. Brighten it up even more, just blend it out. Now I'm gonna 
do the rest of my face first. I'm going to set my under eye. Let's do my brows. So I tried this product out earlier and actually it works pretty darn well. I've tried other brow products similar to this before and my eyebrows just refuse to stick up and this product actually does an okay job at that. So you can see here, I have very, very stubborn brow hairs. They're very thick and they just wanna stick straight down. So this is actually the first product that has actually gotten my hairs to stick a certain way. So you see these right here, they're not gonna move. They're too short. This is good stuff. And then I'll need to fill in my brows a little bit, but they look pretty good so far. This Anastasia Brow Duo. And just use the darker color to fill in the sparse areas. Brush that out a little bit so it doesn't look so cakey. I'm gonna try this bronzer from NARS, the Laguna color. This angled brush right here. This is the JH04. I kind of want some like orange tones because that's a good complement to blue. I have a really big forehead, so I always have to contour my forehead. Is that better? I'm thinking, thinking I use this Anastasia Blush Trio. Let's try this color, this lightest one. Yeah, I like that, okay. Some on my nose, I guess. I'm gonna do some contour with that same Laguna bronzer. And I'm gonna use this brush, which I always use for contouring or like fading out some harsh lines because it's so big and fluffy. This is the JH30. I think it's time to do my under eye, except I'm not really sure what I want to do with it. Okay, we're just gonna play by ear. I'm gonna use this little brush, JH40, and go in with that, this color right here. And I'm just gonna create some dimension here with the lower lash line. This is the JH38. And then I'm gonna go back into those two colors, the second color that we used. And I'm just gonna smoke out that lower lash line a little bit. I'm just gonna use that small fluffy brush that I was using earlier to kind of blend things out. I have this MAC brush, which is kind of like a pencil brush. I'm gonna go in with this color right here and just kind of like make little shadows as if they were eyelashes. Kind of looks like it, no? You see that? Now I wanna do some rhinestones. I don't know what size these are, but I'll uh, let you guys know in the description box. These are the same rhinestone packs that I used in my Cassie look, as well as my TikTok filter look. Hopefully my lash glue will last because after so many years, my lash glue is finally drying out. So I'm gonna actually start here. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I might want to like taper and make the rhinestones a little smaller on the inside. And you don't want them too close together because you want to be able to see the blue. I think we may need to start tapering soon. I actually took this one, one of them off because I feel like 
I need to taper it off sooner. So I just put three gems on this side. Now I'm gonna go in one size smaller and just kind of work my way out on both ends. I think we need to size down again. Okay, I think I might actually taper this one a little more drastically than the other side. Just cause I did this liner a little bit different from this one. My eyes are actually different sizes and shapes, so I'm just trying to do what makes sense so that my eyes look even, and if I do both eyes exactly the same, then they're gonna look uneven because they were uneven to start with. So now I'm gonna go in with the tiniest stones. of the last stone at the end. That's one side done. Gonna finish this side. And last one. Here we go. Whew! It's a lot of rhinestones. It looks pretty cool though. Now I'm gonna do some bottom lash mascara. Just focusing on the outer corners. Since these um, rhinestones are like right up against my lash line. I think I'm gonna do Lashify for my lashes since those go straight on to my lashes. So let's do that. If you saw my last video from earlier this week, you know that the last time I used Lash Lashify, it did not go very well. So hopefully it goes better this time. I mean, it kind of just starts with this guy right here and if the wand is gonna be, oh, it's fine today, look at that. This is such a big difference from what I was dealing with the other day. Okay, let's go ahead and start with curling my lashes. I'm trying to be careful because I don't wanna fuck up the rhinestones. Now I'm gonna brush some of that stuff on. For today's Lashify, I'm just gonna use B12s the whole way because I don't really want the lashes to take too much away from the eye makeup. I just want it to be long, but not covering everything. And then for the last one, I always stack it a little bit because my lashes are so sparse at the end that it just doesn't work. That's that's that with the lashes. It's looking pretty cute. And that is usually how long it takes me, so I don't know what the heck happened the other day. I'm gonna go ahead and fuse my lashes. I don't even know why I'm doing this because I'm probably gonna take this off in a few hours. I don't know, maybe the last. Oh, lips. This is a lip pencil from Sephora in the color Let's Get Lost. I feel like this one's kind of dried up, but we will use it anyway. I don't think I need any more than that. This is NARS Afterglow Lip Balm. Yeah, that completed the look. All right, I guess I will go and do my hair really quick and then we'll take a look at everything together. And this is the finished look. Put on a cute top a choker, and some earrings in my hair. I hope you enjoyed this Euphoria-inspired look. 
I cannot wait for the season finale. It feels like shit is about to go down. Maybe I'll make another one of these. Let me know if you guys want to see another one. But yeah, I had a really fun time creating this look and it actually turned out really good. Don't forget to hit the like button because you know it helps my channel out. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'll see you guys on the next one.